the next few minutes I'm going to show you how to change the oil and oil filter on your 2010 Acura TL. The model that I'm doing this on is a uh, SHAWD, but I'm pretty sure the um, front wheel drive models or the 3.5 liter engines will be, the, uh, will be the exact same. This is a pretty easy process. It takes about 30 minutes and uh, about 40 bucks or so to uh, complete. Here's the error code or the uh, service do now indicator, an A1, which means replace engine oil. One is the rotate tires. If you look at uh, your owner's manual, uh, page five or 506, it gives you a complete list of all the, uh, the codes. Um, a says uh, replace engine oil, but I, um, I'm not gonna replace my oil without changing the filter, so I'm gonna go ahead and do, uh, do both of them. If you ever get it under the code like a B2 or a B4, just look in your owner's manual and it'll tell you exactly what the uh, maintenance steps uh, are going to be needed to um, to complete that. 5W20 full synthetic is what I use, good quality oil filter, some uh, gloves to make the job a little bit easier on my hands, and of course a uh, 17 millimeter six point box end wrench. The reason that I use a six point is uh, the points on the drain plug are a little bit rounded uh, with the uh, larger surface area of a six point wrench. Uh, you're guaranteed a, a good snug fit. If you try to use a 12 point, uh, it doesn't have as much surface area and you could uh, risk rounding your drain plug off just a little bit uh, more and making it uh, so you can't get the drain plug off. Use a six point socket. If you don't have one, go to America's Favorite Tool Store and get your Craftsman. I like to jack up my car, good quality jack stands, a jack. Of course, you'd need a drain um, can and uh, some funnels and lights and stuff like that. If you jack your car up, do not use the uh, one that came from, uh, that's in your trunk, it's just not safe enough. Pop the hood, uh, release the safety latch, and uh, you're inside of your engine. On the right hand side is where you fill the oil up, and on the left hand side is how you check your oil, there's the dipstick, the orange uh, dipstick. Getting to the oil filter is pretty easy. Crank your wheels all the way over to the right, your steering wheel that is, and right behind your front uh, right tire is the uh, actual um, the oil filter. Just pop the drain plug off. I like to get it uh, finger loose and then uh, put the drain um, pan underneath it. Very important, make sure you put that uh, uh, washer back on. If you lose it or if it uh, becomes damaged, go to Acura and uh, get yourself a new one. Otherwise your uh, drain plug will uh, will leak. Putting the, uh, or, or taking the oil filter off, I like to wrap a plastic bag around it. Uh, that way it catches any uh, extra oil that might uh, drip out of the sides of it, makes the uh, process a little bit uh, cleaner. Here I'm inserting the bag around the, um, uh, the actual um, the oil filter. Uh, don't forget to put newspapers and stuff down, keep your floor a little bit, uh, little bit cleaner. If your drain plug or your uh, oil um, filter is on tight, you might want to break it loose first before you put the, um, the little plastic bag on there. It makes the uh, removal a little bit, uh, little bit easier. And here you can see as I'm removing the, uh, the oil filter, there's a little bit of oil that spills out, and that's why I have the plastic bag to catch that, uh, that extra oil. Prime your new oil filter, meaning put some oil in it, about maybe three quarters of the way full or so, that way it won't spill out. And um, wet the seal. Just simply dip your finger in the oil and uh, lubricate that seal uh, liberally. Last thing you want to do is put a dry seal on there. You could risk uh, uh, the seal just cracking or not getting a good uh, seal against the engine and uh, it might risk leaking. I, do, I never put a, uh, my oil filter on with an oil filter wrench. I just grab it with my hand to get it nice and snug. That way it's easy to get off come uh, removal time. Torque the uh, drain plug down to 29 uh, foot-pounds. Uh, I'm not showing that here. Uh, I just get it uh, on uh, tight with the wrench, and then I'll get the torque wrench out uh, uh, after this process here is done. When you put the oil in, uh, here's where Mr. Filter or Mr. Um, Funnel comes along. Uh, and just take your time putting the oil in so it doesn't sputter and drip all over your car. Uh, also monitor the, um, the funnel itself to make sure that you're not uh, putting oil in too fast and letting it um, uh, kind of ooze out of the top of the uh, the engine there. Just take your time and monitor what you're, uh, what you're doing. When you're done, uh, start your engine, let it run for a few minutes, stop your engine, and wait uh, maybe five or ten minutes for all the oil to settle inside your engine. Then check your oil levels using the uh, dipstick. Top off the oil if you need to. 
make sure you have the correct uh, oil level. And of course check for leaks, but if you did the job right you shouldn't have any by your oil filter or the actual uh, the drain plug. When it comes time to dispose of your oil, please do it properly and uh, recycle it. If your city doesn't have a recycling program, check with your auto parts store and see if they've got uh, a recycling service. Most cities do. Please don't put the, uh, just don't throw your oil out or dump it in the backyard. It's um, hell on the environment. Last but not least, in your owner's manual or somewhere, record the date of the maintenance, the mileage of the, uh, the car at the time of maintenance, the oil type that you use, the oil filter, and any other maintenance uh, that you had performed. It's a nice way to keep up with the, uh, the maintenance on your car. When you sell it, you can prove that you've uh, kept all your maintenance uh, done in an orderly manner. That's it. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to comment.